You plant a good bag like this one, it's supposed to give you 200 shillings per one, one well, I mean 200 per day times, times two, so that is 400 per week. And it runs for about eight to 10 months. Keep it farming with AIM Agriculture. Today we are going to show you how to set up a vertical grow bag. Keep it farming with AIM Agriculture. A bag costs uh, a, a thousand shillings. So if you want to start a, a, a kitchen garden, you need about nine wheelbarrows of uh, soil, yes. six wheelbarrows of uh, manure. It can be the chicken or any other manure, compost manure. You have to have six wheelbarrows and then have uh, two kgs of lime or about a, a bucket of uh, ash if you have ash in your homestead and then when you put up the bag what you need to put in mind that it has to be well straight. Uh, well straight and then when you put water it can overflow and uh, have weight weight on one side so while, when your bag is ready mm -hmm. you can uh, get uh, seedlings either from uh, 
from whatever sources that you, you get your seedlings from. Like me, I get my seedlings from plant raisers because they have good seedlings, their quality, because not most of their, their seedlings go to waste. So their seedlings are good. You see the one, these ones are about two days and they, they can even stay for a week. Yeah, so their seedlings, they are, they are based in Ketengera. That's where I get my seedlings from. Uh, I want to start up uh, by showing you how we put them so that we can later water them up. Okay, so we now want to put our seedlings. So you just use an ordinary stick. We no longer use the jembes. So even for a modern lady, you can still do the shamba and still. You just need your gloves yeah, probably yeah, and, a or stick. <laughs> and a stick. Yeah. And now I want to show you how we plant them. So we start from the, the down one. Our bag has about between 70 to 80 holes, okay. which is, uh, that's enough food for a family of five or even over. Yeah. And the bag goes for... This is the medium bag. Yeah, this is the medium bag that goes for a thousand. So the medium bag, uh, you can uh, be able to also harvest, uh, I mean, also sell the, the sukumas mm. at 200 shillings per week. So oh. it's, you still can make money. Yeah. So if you have one bag or two bags, you can still have money mm -hmm. and the bag lands for about 10 months. Wow. So for 10 months, yes. you have saved a lot. So we can start off now. And I also wanted to teach Mary on how to put the seedlings okay. because I do trainings around. Oh. So if I have uh, customers, I train them. I train in and around town. I was trained by IPM, so I was given authority also to train others, the ladies, because we want to get, uh, what, uh, we want to put a poverty eradication yeah. to a scale. Wow. Because when you have uh, the bag, mm -hmm. you at least you have an extra coin in your, in your pocket. Yeah. yeah, so I think we can start off. Yeah. So this is a bag that you can put within the less than 30 minutes and be, be through. Mm -hmm. So you just put your seed ring like that, you put a hole, and then you, you put your hole and then you plant your, your seedlings and you go round and round. The advantage of using the bags, were, like here it is 20 bags yeah. and each bag has uh, around 70 to 100 holes mm -hmm. and uh, not counting the top. Mm -hmm. So the advantage is that you can plant more seedlings yeah. other than the down one. According to the estimate that we did here, the, the seedlings that we have planted here could go almost a uh, quarter an acre. Wow. So it's an advantage yes. because uh, it's easy to manage, it's easy to water, mm -hmm. and it's also easy to, to have the control because we use less water. Mm. Yeah. When you say it's easy to manage, yeah. um, you have 20 bags, yeah. at least 20 bags. Yeah, 20 so bags. when it comes to watering, yeah. how many times do you have to do it for, say, one bag? Mm. Yeah. Apart from the rainy season, yes. when you are using uh, tap water, we water them twice a week. Mm -hmm. And when we uh, sell, we, we, uh, we do them twice a week. Or you can almost sell almost every day if you are not using all the bags. Yeah, yeah you can have sales every day. Yeah, and our, our sales are from just from within, the mamamboga around, the, the neighbors around, yes. they use their boga from here. Yes. Yeah, and depending on the variety yes. of the vegetables that you are using for the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so how much water do you require for one, one particular bag? You said you water them twice. Twice. Yeah. So on like 20 liters. 20 liters. 20 liters. Okay. Yeah. And now when it's, uh, you know, the rains are here. Yeah. El Ni uh, Probably, I don't know if I should call it El Nino, but the rains are here and they are heavy. Is it an advantage yeah, for it's you? Yeah, an advantage. Yeah, they will not destroy the yeah. bag. Yeah, you need to destroy the bags because they, they, they have holes that can also release the excess water. The 20 bags that you have, um, I'm, I can see you have a variety of vegetables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which ones uh, are you doing so far? I'm doing spinach and then there is uh, other ones that the local people call it ganzira. ganzira. We have terere, we have managu. So it depends with the, the customer. Oh, yeah. your ganzera, ni, which Ga one? Ganzera, they call it, uh, ganzera is this one. This grows within six weeks. It's uh, ready. Okay. They like it because it's, uh, uh, it doesn't have a lot of gas. Uh, 
Yeah, it goes for six weeks. So it's the one that we use on top mm -hmm. because you upload it after every six weeks and then you, you start again. Here we don't use the, the jembes, we use the, the sticks. Yeah. That's what we use for planting and also for doing any other mm -hmm. within the, the, the shamba. Okay. Yeah. You harvest, you said you harvest every week yeah every, every week, day yeah. possibly yeah, yeah. okay uh yeah. because hello changani we want to know how you make money from your bags yeah, yeah your vegetables yeah uh you could tell us how much you sell probably your spinach mm -hmm. a bunch mm -hmm. um your kills your yeah. ganzera mm -hmm. yes we usually give them a bunch we hold them it's a bunch that we usually sell 10 bob mm -hmm. and it depends with the variety of the vegetables that you are using so there are other customers that who like uh, ganzera, spinach, managu, sukuma. So it depends with the, the customer liking. If you plant a good bag like this one, it's supposed to give you 200 shillings per one. one well, I mean 200 per day times, times two. So that is 400 per week. And it runs for about eight to ten months. Okay. Yeah. And uh, compared, do you sell to them at the market or it's just here at home? Just around here. Yeah, we have, because we have mama kiosk around, so they also come and, and, and carry their vegetables and resell. Mm -hmm. So they are still my customers and I still have customers on a, on one to one. Do you sell seedlings as well? Or like you only buy seedlings to put in your bags? There are times that I usually prepare the seedlings for myself. And when time is running out, I also buy from other farmers, depending on the season. Yeah, because like uh, those ones are seedlings that are needs to be transferred, oh. they are managu. So you can actually do your seedlings here yeah, as a small nursery? Yeah, yeah, you can do your nursery on top of every bag and still rotate them as time goes by. So does the bag limit, you know, to certain crops, types of crops? No, because like these ones are red cabbages, mm -hmm. so you can plant them on top. You can still plant other things like uh, the, the, the other cabbages. Mm -hmm. We have, still have beetroots that also go for a wrong season and the onions you can still plant the onions on top yeah. other than on the, the the down part of it mm -hmm. yeah is it hard to maintain um, this the bag itself no, it's does it not. get destroyed or after how long does it do you have to change yeah. the no, soil it, it depends on how you maintain it mm -hmm. yeah because if you don't make a you, if you misuse this one, maybe it will go for one season and then you have to buy another one. But like these ones that are now going for the second time, you just undo them, you add more manure and then they, they go for almost seven years. How much does one bag cost? One bag costs, uh, ranges from 1,000 to 1,200. There are other small ones that go for 500. 500. Yeah, 500. So it's something that um, I, as yeah. a farmer i can start if you i'm aspiring start. to be you can also have your kitchen garden, garden mm -hmm. at the back yard of your house and still be able to go to work and still have your vegetables being clean and healthy mm -hmm. because we don't li like using a pet side unless otherwise yeah. but according to the research that i have done mm -hmm. we don't really use pet side so are there any diseases that affect um, no, your we, crops there, yeah. there is purely organic yeah, so organic. it's just organic manure. Yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned something to do with uh, vermi liquid. Yeah. You still use it on your crops? Or yeah, where do you get it from? Vermi liquid around. I will show you around. We make our own vermi liquid. That's what we use to, to spray for the plants. Yeah. yeah. Because according to the, the way you make it in the beginning, you use a lot of manure, you use lime, or you use ash. And most of the people around here, you never knew the, the use of uh, the ash, mm -hmm. so that's what we use instead of the lime. Oh. Yeah, so of, of late I've not seen uh, a disease that has really made us to push us to go for the pet side. Does it require a lot of labor for you to do this or is it something I can do yeah. and go to work in the office yeah. and then come back and manage? You only need uh, somebody to help you when you are putting up the, the, the bag, otherwise these are the time. There are no weeds that you need to pluck off. So it's something that is manageable, 
that you can go to work and still come and do it. Where do you see the future of agribusiness and or urban farming mm -hmm. in Kenya? Mm -hmm. Now that uh, we've seen a lot of land is being yeah. used for real estate yeah. and agriculture is slowly, you know, mm -hmm. um, dying in some parts of the country. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the future of agribusiness in Kenya? It's moving fast. So compared to uh, the time that I first learned about IPM from the, from the, the media yes. and the, the people that have trained within the village, mm -hmm. that they are making their own uh, vegetables, they have also made other people to know about it. It's quite growing very fast. Yeah. yeah. Right. One thing is hygienic is best because other schoolmas that we get from other places, there are people who always ask you, your, your spinaches are just too big, are they from the sewage? Mm. But now you see <laughs> from, the sewage, oh. from the sewage, because yeah. they believe mm. you only get the big leaves from manure that has been used yeah. Yeah, yes. uh, from uh, that area, so or maybe you don't know where it has come from. Okay. So it's an advantage because you know your burgers are clean mm -hmm. and you are selling to people that you know you're selling them something which is good. We also have a customer, an old man that comes around. Mm -hmm. He has a uh, blood pressure and uh, sugar. Yeah. And most of the time, he tells us that once it, he takes the vegetables from around, mm -hmm. the sugar level goes down. Yeah. yeah. Because one thing, they are fresh. Yes. Because other vegetables we might have taken a week mm -hmm. to get to you. Yeah. So in most cases, we, we take it as a roughage. Yeah. Because most of the iron, most of the vitamin, have gone, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay, lastly, you can yeah. give advice to a small-scale farmer who would yeah. want to start, or a young farmer mm -hmm. who would want to start mm -hmm. um, this kind of farming, and they're probably thinking a challenge is space yeah. or uh, land, mm -hmm. but you know, you can advise them, you can use this small space mm. to do your, your bags. Like most of the people who have started off, they started off with uh, one bag. Yeah. A bag goes for for a thousand, let's say an average of a thousand, one thousand two hundred, mm -hmm. and uh, most of the people I tell them the the soil is just around them because they are not going to buy for the soil. Yeah. So and manure maybe cost about two hundred and fifty or between two hundred, depending on on the the area that you are getting your your manure. Yeah. And there is also the the compost manure. We also make we waste a lot of. Uh, my compost, the vegetables that we get from the kitchen, the waru, the whatever, we also can make very good uh, compost manure with it. Mm -hmm. Also the, 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 the falling leaves that we get from the, the trees, yeah. we also make very good uh, compost manure for it. So if you use 1,200 and then uh, maybe a cost of uh, about, let's say 600 to make the bag up, and maybe the manure we give it around 600, and then the vegetables plus the, the limes and whatever, it will cost you about 2,500. And compared that you are going to use that bag for about 10 months. We were talking with other ladies and I was asking them, how much do you use for vegetables from the market? They gave me a calculation of about 100 shillings. That is on the mixture of the, the vegetables that we have. Yeah. So we calculated that that was around 300 shillings mm -hmm. to 400 shillings yeah. per week. So the, if you multiply that by four, that is 1,600. Mm -hmm. And this bag, it will cost you 2,500 yeah. once. Yeah. So after five weeks, you start harvesting, harvesting. harvesting. And that bag will, will run for about 10 months. Mm -hmm. So how much are you saving on that one? No, <laughs> you are saving a lot of yeah. money. Yeah. So I'm trying to encourage the ladies mm -hmm. at least to have even one or two bags mm -hmm. to sustain their, their families so that also hygienically, we can uh, get off from these lifestyle diseases. Yes. Yeah. And the advantage of these stones is when I'm watering them, is it takes a lot of water down downstream. So other than the, the, the dry season when you put water and it overspills and goes to waste. Yes. So when you put water inside here, it goes down and it is and it is looks for way way out. So you, you can even put the pipe and still to go doing other businesses it's because once the pipe is here it takes the water down and so your bag will be always having enough water so you don't have to actually put it the very water very yeah, around the bag yeah but when you use this system it holds a lot of water because it goes up to the the down bag i mean the down plants 
So when you have the, the down plants, they will also be come bigger than when you get the, like these bags that we did for the first time, mm -hmm. the, 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 the seedlings which were down didn't have a lot of water. So it had to think the Juakali way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And you have to use the plastic, uh, the bottle, the plastic bottle, or, you know, the plastic that you've put round. Yeah. It's only for the upper part of it. The, the, the other side, the other part, we have just uh, made up stones on, on top of the other. But this one also helps us not uh, to have the, the soil or a lot of waste going to in, into this so that it can we take the water down. So down is just the yeah. stones? Yes. There's no yeah. the plastic? Yeah. It's just on yes. top? The plastic is just here, on top. Right. Yeah, because when you put it and when you pull it up, the stones still stay the way they are. So this one is only for the system of the upper part. Oh. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Is it only stones that you can use or is there anything else? Stones? because uh, it has space, air space that will take the water. So we are making use of every available material within the compound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good.